stats. Yeah, tagged it. Nice climb, Chris. You ready to head back down? Oh, yeah. Hey, creatures. We're practicing our climbing so we can scale the cliffs like the climbing creatures. Yeah, but creatures who can climb don't need all these ropes and special equipment. They're born with everything they need. Unlike us! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should go canoeing. Or we could call one of the best climbers we know. Want to? Come on. Zabumafu! Hey, Zabu! Have you been climbing today? Hey, Zabu's here! And we're gonna have a lot of fun. Come on! Zabumafu! That leaping leaner. And what a climber! Hey, Zabu! How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Want a scratch? One lemur snack coming up. Garbanzo beans. Hey, Zabu! Hey, Chris! Thanks, Martin! Zabu loves garbanzo beans. Yeah! <laughs> I like the way you chew, Zab. Hey! I've got a surprise! What, Zabu? I can't tell. It's a surprise. Oh, come on, Zabu. Tell us who you saw. That's the surprise. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I can see. Can you help me guess this mystery? There were lots of legs and tails all over the place. The legs were a little wobbly, but they were always on the move. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. There were pointy ears, too, and eyes that checked out everything. Tailed pouncers. Do you know who they are? I know who it is, but lots of tails and legs. <laughs> so many crazy colors. A kitten! Hey, come here, little guy. <laughs> There's another one sitting on the clock. Mankatsika. Mystery animals are here. And that's not all. There are lots of kittens here. There are kittens everywhere, everywhere. Whoa! Everywhere. Everywhere. Of course, that's it. It's not one kitten. It's not two kittens. It's not three kittens. It's tons of kittens. Yeah, all these kittens are dizzying my mind. Oh. It's kitten chaos. No kittens up my sleeve. Check your other sleeve. <laughs> We'd better gather up these kittens before one of them gets lost. How do we do that? One at a time. Let's go look for the other kittens. Whoa. They're not always easy to spot. There's one. Here's one. When you find them, bring them here. <laughs> Here's one. Here, guys. <laughs> Meow. Kittens get into the funniest Meow. places. <laughs> no kittens in here. Just a lemur in a bag. <laughs> Here's one. The last one. Look at them all. Oh, hey. They're all together now. Where are you going? Come back here, buddy. <laughs> this guy's a little wobbly. This orange kitten really likes you, Zabu. She's the only one not exploring. Well, I guess they're still finding their way around, huh? Yeah. Well, these kittens are only seven weeks old. They're babies. That's right, Zab, which means their mom probably isn't far away. Let's watch them until their mom comes to get them. It'll be easy. Okay, Zab, but I don't think it'll be that easy. 
You'll see. It'll be easy, easy, easy. We'll have to keep a close eye on them. Speaking of eyes, this little guy has light green eyes. Looks up. Wow. Green eyes and, and really long hairs on his face. They're called whiskers. And cats and kittens' whiskers are really good at feeling things. Hair with feelings. That sounds great. Yeah, cats' whiskers. Well, and kittens. And kittens help guide them through tight places at night. They use their whiskers kind of like extra hands to feel things. <laughs> They're a little ticklish, too. Huh? That's a big kitten. Look, more kittens. Those aren't exactly kittens, up. Huh? They're jaguar cubs. I can't believe my mind. <laughs> hey, guys, cubs want to have fun. <laughs> Let's play with them. Great idea. You got me. OK, I give, I give, I give. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> It's tougher in the water, huh? <laughs> you leaving? Hey, Chris, Martin, the jaguars are leaving. Oh, what are you doing? Hey, Martin, here's one of the kittens by the pond. I think I know what she wants. She looks like she wants to go swimming. Well, she probably doesn't want to go swimming, Zabu, but she might want to go fishing. Kittens are really curious, and this kitten is curious about this catfish. Catfish? Does she meow? <laughs> no, she's called a catfish because she has whiskers like a cat. And like cat whiskers, they're for feeling. What about the kitten? Will she go in? Well, house cats really don't like water, Zab. Not like some wild cats, like those jaguar cubs who were here. Oh. These kittens will grow up to be house cats, and they'll hunt mice and birds. They can practice by hunting my tail. Come on, guys, hunt my tail. <laughs> Come on, kittens, it'll be fun. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> hey, kitten, that tickles. <laughs> you play good. <laughs> That's what kittens do, Zob. They play, and that's how they learn to be cats. <laughs> Human kids love playing like cats, too. Uh-oh. Kitten's getting stuck in my tail. <laughs> <laughs> that's because she has retractable claws. What's a retractable claw? This is. Oh, <gasps> her nails go in and out. That's right, Zob. Cats need to have sharp nails for catching and climbing. A retractable claw only comes out when it needs to. That way, they stay sharp. Even big wild cats like leopards have the same retractable claws that dig into the branches of trees when they're climbing. And of all the big cats, leopards are the best climbers. Check out this move. Look who's here! It's Popper! Popper loves to pop all our balls with his retractable claws and sharp teeth. Guys, save the soccer ball! We'll try, Zob! We've got to keep it up and out of Popper's reach! <laughs> Bye, Popper. Pop back soon. Hey, guys, I can't believe my mind. That thing is moving. It's moving? I know I haven't washed my sleeping bag in a while, but this is ridiculous. Uh, Martin, if it's a sleeping bag, then why isn't it sleeping? <laughs> because the bag doesn't sleep, Zob. We sleep in the sleeping bag. Then who's sleeping in it? I don't know. A, a kitten! kitten. Kittens are very curious, like all baby creatures. Exactly. They're trying to learn about stuff, just like you, Zob. <laughs> I've got a cat crawling down my back. <laughs> there's a cat in a hat. And there's a cat with a rat. 
there's a bat, a rat, and a gnat. Wouldn't it be funny if kittens took over the world? Yeah. Then we'd all be kittenish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel kittenish. How about you? Kittenish. I feel kittenish. Kittenish. I'm a paw swatting kitten playing with some yarn. Huh? Uh-oh. Uh, oh no. Brothers, brothers, the kittens are getting away. It's kitten roundup time. We gotta get these kittens good and safe. Rounding up kittens is a blast. Yeah. Get along, little doggies. Uh, I mean kittens. <laughs> Maybe taking care of kittens isn't so easy after all. Here's one of the little rascals. Yeah. You stay down right here, you hear? They're everywhere. They're everywhere. I think we're almost there, partner. Ha, we nearly missed you, little fella. Plum tuckered out. You can say that again. Hooey! I'm plum tuckered out. Good job, <laughs> partner. Yeah. What's that noise? Is that your stomach again, Chris? No, Zob. Listen. Hmm? Hear that? Oh. She's purring. That's what kittens do when they're happy. Wow. And it's not just kittens who purr. A lot of wild cats purr too, like cheetahs. When a family of cheetahs all take a nap, it's a cheetah purr fest. Wow. <laughs> Martin? Chris? I think these kittens are thirsty. While the Crack Brothers are sleeping, I'll give them some milk. See? See? They're slurping it all up. And now I'll tell you a story. I was leaping along in Zabu land. Leap, leap, <laughs> leap. 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 And I landed right in the middle of a sand pit with Snow Lemur. Hi, Snow Lemur, I said. Oh, hi, Zabu. I, I love playing in the sand. Yeah, yeah, it feels good running through my fingers while playing in the sand. Makes me so happy. Well, if it makes you happy, why don't you purr? Oh, good idea. Oh, purr, purr. Oh, that's even better. Purr. purr, purr, purr. <laughs> Sika. Then I saw Google eating Google berries, and he looked really happy. And I said, hi, Google. Hi, Zabu. Are you happy eating Google berries? Oh, yeah, it's great. Then why don't you purr? Okay. Good job, Google. Google did such a good job purring. We both started to... Oh. But then Green Puppy popped out of a bush. I said, hi, Green Puppy. Are you happy today? Yeah, I'm so happy. I could lick you. <laughs> that tickles. Are you happy enough to purr? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I can lick and purr. Lick, purr. Lick, purr. Lick, purr. Lick, purr. Lick, purr. <laughs> the end. Did you like my story, kittens? 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 Oh, no. They're wandering again. Now I know that taking care of curious kittens isn't so easy. I better get the brothers. Chris, Martin, wake up. The kittens have escaped. This looks like a job for the professionals. You're right, Chris. Time to call in the big guns. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. We need more kitty callers. Oh, well, we'll help. Uh, here, here, kitty. Here, yeah, kitty. here. We have to call loud. Oh, here, yeah. kitty, Ooh, kitty, yeah, kitty, yeah, kitty, come on. Come on, you call, too. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Look, there's one of the mother cats. And there's the other one. We did it. Hooray! The kittens are with their moms again. Yeah, and everyone's happy to see each other.
See you later, kittens. Bye, kittens. I liked playing with curious kittens. But now they've all gone home with their moms. Income stuck. It's Moon Face. The barn owl with the special delivery. Hi, you guys. This is Rapunzel. Even though cats do a great job cleaning their own fur, brushing them is a super way to show them you love them. Rapunzel likes being brushed. Plus, you can give the loose fur to the animals. See? Birds pick up the fur and put it inside their nests. This way, the baby birds are warm and cozy because they don't have many feathers yet. It's great to help bird mums take care of their babies. Listen, she's purring. I have a question for you guys. Rapunzel's purring because she's happy, and lions are big cats who live in the wild. So I was wondering, do lions purr? That's a great question. Do lions purr? Well, let's find out. Come on. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. Uh-oh. You know what always happens when we open the closet. Well, we got to do what we got to do. <laughs> hey, look at this. A set of car keys. But I don't know what car they're for. So what? Bring them along. They're going on a cool adventure. And they're they're the one one the the they're, they're coming, coming from, from the closet. And they're headed out the See door. See Abu. We got a great trip going on. Bye, Krat Brothers. This way, Martin. Right behind you, brother. Come on! Lions live in a big group called a pride. And like house cats, lions like to take naps. They usually take a nap in the afternoon. So if they do purr, there's a good chance we'll hear them. Wait, Chris, I hear purring. It's coming from behind us. You're right, bro. But I don't see anybody. Wait a second, Martin. It's coming from back there now. You're right. I hear it. But I still don't see anybody. Hold it, Chris. No, wait. It's definitely back that way. That purring is really close. Yeah, somebody's got to be making that sound. Maybe we should drive around and see if we can find them. Yeah, if we had our Jeep. There's one of our Jeeps. Huh? Excellent. All right. Uh-oh. But there aren't any keys. Maybe the keys I found in the closet will work. Hey, let's try them. Alright! <laughs> this Jeep really purrs. Let's go. I hope we can spot the creatures who are purring. They must be around here someplace. Hey, Martin! What? Look, a leopard! A leopard is one wild cat who doesn't purr. Rhinos! Well, they're definitely not purring. Martin, hold it! Lions! Lions are the most social of all the big wild cats. And lion cubs stay with their moms longer than any other cat. You know, they all look really happy. But I don't hear them purring. It looks like what we've heard is true, Martin. Yep, lions just don't purr. But somebody is still purring. I don't believe it, Chris. The kittens from Animal Junction. <laughs> they were in our backpacks the whole time. That's where the purring was coming from. <laughs> Rascals. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. Hey, let's take them back to Animal Junction. OK. It's good to see you again. Yeah, yeah I guess you guys wanted to go on the trip, too. You're almost home, kittens. And I bet your mom's looking for you. Here she is. <laughs> she looks happy to see her kittens. Yeah. Hey. Whoa. You hear something? <laughs> hey, Sounds like Zabu. Let's see yeah. what's going on. <laughs> oh, roll me over that way. Yeah. <laughs> over here. Whoa. Oh, you got strong paws for a kitten. <laughs> Yeah, one more time. One more time. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, 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 hey,
Savu, what are you doing? That's one playful kitten. A <laughs> kitten? What are you talking about, Zabu? That's not a kitten. That's a cougar. Cougar? Cougar? But he looks just like a kitten. Except the cougar is bigger. That's for sure, Zab. A lot bigger. A cougar is a type of wildcat that's really good at jumping. He can actually jump more than 20 feet in one leap. See how his back legs are longer than his front legs? That helps him move through the steep valleys and canyons. Ah, <gasps> Manga Tsika! He can jump just like me! Jumping with a big pod cougar is Manga Tsika! A cougar's paw is a lot like a kitten's paw. The claws go out and in, out and in. Retractable. And look at his eyes. Yeah, Zabu. Those beautiful eyes let him see a lot better at night than we do. They do? Yeah. Try the eye spy. Okay. Let me just Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I will set them to people. All right? And this is how a person sees at night. Wow. Yep. It sure is dark. Okay. And now mm -hmm. I'll adjust it to cougar so you can see how cougars see at night. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Whoa! Wow! Hey, Cougar, not so close, not so close! Whoa! <laughs> I meant to do that. Yeah. Come on, Zob! <sighs> Thanks. Anytime, Zabufu! Hey, and this is how all cats clean themselves. <laughs> the more they lick, the cleaner they get. Just like kittens. Does he purr, too, like the kitten cats? Let's have a listen. You hear that? What a purr! Cougars are the largest cats who purr. Huh. So they do purr like kittens. And just like kittens, cougars love to play. Hmm. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Come on, Zob, play with us! Yarn ball? No, thanks. We played already. <laughs> okay, Zob. That ball reminds me of a mango fruit from Zabu Land. Oof. Oh, sorry about that, Zabu. But it didn't hit me in the head. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. When I met Sensen. <laughs> Hi, Sensen, I said. Hi, Zabu. I'm looking for mango fruit. Can you help me listen for it? Oh, sure, Zabu. Yeah. Well, I hear a lot of purring. Oh, it's Kubo. Oh, I'm a pussycat. Oh, let's go over here, Zabu. I can't hear very well with all this purring going on. Purr, purr, no, no, no purr, more purring. And it's Green Puppy. Oh, I'm sorry, Sensen. I'm the one who taught Google and Green Puppy how to purr. Oh, that's okay, Zabu. I hear something. I hear something. Oh, over here. The purring is nice, but I can't hear with it. Oh, a nice mango fruit bush. I hear Zabu. Oh, mango. Thanks, Sensei. Oh, no. And Sensei and I ate the sweet, juicy mango fruit, and we were so happy, we started to purr. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Those are some funny-sounding purrs, Zabu. I know, but everybody was happy. <laughs> hey, and what did you like best about today, Zabu? Oh, I liked the way the kittens played and pounced on everything. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and I loved the way that the cougar played with Zabu. Uh -huh. My favorite part was when the kittens were hiding out in our backpacks. Oh, yeah. Kittens are manga tzika. <laughs> this animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. See you later, Zav. Bye, Zavu. And we'll see you later, too. Yeah. Wait a minute. Kittens? No kittens. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Lauren, and this is my cat, Bogart. A four Fs. What an amazing ride.
It's good to be back at Animal Junction. And it's great to see you. Hey, let's lose the dust, brother. All right. And you know, I'm glad we wore warm clothes. It's starting to get cold out there. <laughs> Hey, Arctic Wolf Pups. They have warm coats of fur to keep them warm in cold weather, too. Yeah, creatures who live where it snows, like a moose or a bighorn sheep, need a thick, furry coat to help them make it through the winter. I wonder if Zabu's fur coat is keeping him warm enough today. Let's ask him. Hey, Zabu! Zabu! Hey, Zabu! How you doing, buddy? You keeping warm out there? You know Zabu. No chat till he's had his snack. <laughs> wow, your fur is so soft. Bet he keeps you warm on cold rainy nights in Madagascar. So, what do you think Zabu wants to eat today? I love you, Zabu. How about apples? <laughs> All right. Zabu, I got an apple for you. Whoa. There you go. <laughs> no, not the whole thing. That's too much. Here, no, wait. Hey, here, I got a piece for you. There you go. Uh, oh, you want that big piece? <laughs> Give me some of the food. I like being here. And I like eating lots of snacks, too. Yeah, we know that. Manga Zika. I like the things you wear. <laughs> and mostly, I like your hat. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a hat, Sob. That's my jacket. Hmm. I use it to keep me warm when I go mountain biking. Jacket. Or you could call it a coat. Coat! <gasps> coat is what the Manga Zika animal I saw had on. Who'd you see this time, Zabu? Oh, he was big, and he had a big coat. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? <laughs> this mystery animal has three big bumps. One is a head, and two are humps. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Heavy and very furry, too. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He's a big coated, two humped, furry creature. Do you know who he is? Okay, let's figure this out. Two humps on his back. Moves his mouth from side to side. Long legs and knobby knees. And a shaggy coat. Do you know who it is? Yeah, a, a camel! Uncle Zika, Mr. Animal's here. Yep. Hey. <laughs> this camel is big. Yeah, he's a big two-humped camel. Yeah. There are two types of camels. One type has one hump, the other type has two humps. Yeah, and this two-humped camel is called a Bactrian camel. Bactrian. What a funny name for a camel, Bactrian. Look at all this shaggy fur. It's amazing how much fur this camel has. Wow, fur. <laughs> I have fur. Yeah, have you got fur? Oh, I forgot. You don't have fur, except on your head. He's so shaggy, I think I'll call him Shagamel the Camel. <laughs> yeah, Shagamel. <laughs> you know what I love about him? His head is so huge. Look at that. Wow. And look at this big, thick neck, too. Yeah, he does have a big neck. Oh, at least he has a neck. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love a camel's nostrils. <laughs> See how they're just two slits? That keeps sand out of the camel's nose. Yeah, look how they open and close when I pet his nose. His nostrils can close? Well, let me try. <laughs> Neat. I don't think I can travel very far like that, though. <coughs> wow. This camera.
camel steps with funny feet. You know how hard it is to walk in the sand? Well, a camel's feet are so big and round, so he doesn't sink into the sand when he's walking in the desert. Dessert? Dessert? What's for dessert? Mangoes? <laughs> Not dessert, Tom. <laughs> desert. A desert is where a camel lives. Where there's hardly any rain, lots of sun, and lots and lots of sand everywhere. <sighs> yeah, a camel is one amazing creature. All the way from the tip of his nose to his big head down his long neck to his two humps here, all the way back to his big muscular legs. I'm so glad a camel came in. Hey, it sounds like he's being bugged by something. I know. I know what's bugging the camel. He's got sand in his eyes from the desert. Let's check it out. Okay. Whoa, the camel has long eyelashes. Yeah, those long eyelashes help a camel keep sand out of his eyes. Oh. So? Uh there's no sand in this camel's eyes. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, I get sand all over me when I go to the beach. Oh, there's more than sand at the beach, there's water. You know what? Maybe the camel's thirsty. Well, he's in the right place, because Animal Junction is an oasis. Let's bring on the water. <laughs> For some creatures, this is a good swimming hole, but this is better. For some kids, this would be like a pool. But for a camel, this is a cold drink on a hot day. How about a drink? Are you thirsty? Want some water? Hmm. Maybe we'll put it down. Guess he's not thirsty. Hey, huh. maybe the camel wants to get his water from leaves, like a lemur. That's how lemurs get a drink a lot of the time. We eat leaves, because there's water in leaves. Wow! Hey, Camel, want a drink? Well, guess not, huh? <laughs> Camels get some of their water from the food they eat, but mostly they get water from water. Oh, I know what's wrong with the Camel. What's up? Well, his lip, it's broken. <laughs> it's not broken, Zob. That's the way a Camel's lip is supposed to be. Camels eat vegetation that's really low to the ground, so the split lip helps them gather up food so they can bite it off. Oh, so his lip's supposed to be like that. You got it, Zav. I know. I know what's bugging the camel. Well, maybe he's hungry. I know just the thing. What? Oh. <laughs> just have to make an adjustment here. There we go. <laughs> I gotta remember this trick. Huh? Oh. Thanks. <laughs> Here you go, Chris. Here's something for him to eat. Great, Zob. How about some hay? Hey, he does seem a little hungry. But this camel isn't starving. So that's not the problem. But that reminds me of my friend who needed food in Zabu land. I was leap leaping <laughs> along. Leap, 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 leap when I saw Goobal. Hello, Goobal, how are you? And Goobal said, oh, I'm sad. My Goobal belly's empty, and I can't find any Goobal berries to fill it anywhere. Well, I know where some Goobal berries are. Follow me. So I led Goobal to a Goobal berry patch. Oh, coming. <gasps> See? <gasps> Goobal berries! Goobal was so happy, he started singing. Oh, 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 Goobal berries. Goobal berries. I love to gobble Goobal berries. Goobal berries, Goobal berries. And Goobal ate so many Goobal berries that his Goobal belly grew big and round. I said, Your belly is full now, Goobal. And he said, Oh, thanks for solving my problem. <laughs> And while Goobal slept, his belly made noises like a camel. <laughs> the end. Hmm, now I have to solve Shagamel's problem. This camel's still not happy. I want to help the camel. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but what can we do? We've tried everything. Hey, camel, what's the matter? Hmm? Uh-oh. Oh, well, the camel's fur is falling off. I broke his coat. You didn't break it, Zob. The camel's just shedding. Shedding? What's shedding? 
Well, shedding is when an animal loses its fur. Mm. When it gets warm out, a camel doesn't need all this thick, heavy fur, so he sheds. Well, maybe he needs help shedding. Yeah. Great idea. Huh. Yeah. Here we go. Pull this up. Yeah. That's shedding. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Whoa. I'll just gently pull this out. And all this thick fur can be really itchy and uncomfortable. There you go, buddy. The more we help the camel shed, the better he'll feel. But only take the loose hairs. Oh, hey, stop. <laughs> hey, I'll get some brushes. Camel hair, it's everywhere. Try that. Thanks. Yeah. What are you doing? Just helping. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, Whoa. <laughs> thanks. You're welcome, buddy. Shut up. Camel hair is everywhere. It's all over me. <laughs> is it hot in here or what? Yeah, hot. That's because you have a camel hair coat on. That's why the camel was so upset. He was hot. Yeah, now I'm hot, too. And I'm hot. And I'm hot. Yeah. Uh, 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 no, fly away! Fly away! Uh, 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 oh, they did it! They did it! <laughs> yeah, Shigamel feels good, and now I'm feeling camelish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel camelish. How about you? Camelish. Camel, camel, camelish. Camel, camel, camelish. I'm a two-humped Bactrian walking through the sand. Shigamel's happy now. <laughs> Hi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Shigamel says thanks for helping me. Shigamel's leaving. See you later, Camel. Goodbye, Mangatsika Camel. Come back soon. Brothers! I can't believe my mind. Brothers, look! Penguins! <laughs> penguins! They're African penguins. Hi, guys. How are you doing? And I know what they're looking for. Water! They're headed straight for the pool. <laughs> penguins love the cold water. But do you know how they stay warm in water that's practically freezing? Penguins have fat and feathers that let them stay warm in the cold water. Oh, who needs fat and feathers? I spin to stay warm. I'm going in. What? No, 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 Two. no, no, Martin, Martin, you'll be too cold in that ice water. Remember? It's great for penguins, but not for crack brothers. You're right, Zob. Yeah. Penguins have fat and feathers to keep them warm in icy mm -hmm. water. I don't. Oh. Penguins are going home now. Bye, penguins! Come back for a swim anytime. Income. Duck! duck! <laughs> it is a duck. Yeah, and look at these warm and waterproof feathers. Did you know that every year a duck loses its old feathers and grows new ones? It's called molting, and molting is the bird and feather version of shedding. Camels shed, ducks molt. And let's see what Jackie and the animal helpers are doing. Hi, you guys. You know what? I've got a big job today. I'm helping Goldie take off her winter coat. Now that it's spring, she doesn't need a heavy coat anymore. So I'm brushing her to get all that extra hair out. Dogs really like it. 
cats like it too. Hey, Sabu, do you like being brushed? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Can you go a little lower? <laughs> oh, oh, that's nice. Oh. Hey, Sabu, I've huh? been brushing you for a while, right? Mm -hmm. But look, no hair is coming off in the brush. Well, that's because I'm from Madagascar. I don't have any extra hair you can brush off. Oh, yes, mm. because in Madagascar, you don't have snowy winters. No. So, you don't need an extra warm winter coat. Just like giraffes in Africa. Or some kangaroos in hot places in Australia. They don't need a lot of fur because they live in warm places. But some animals in really cold places need a lot of fur to get through the winter. We need special winter clothes, too. Oh, I'm out of here. We would freeze to death out there. Aren't there any animals who won't freeze? Oh, yeah, Zabu, a lot of animals. There are great animals out there who are all ready to deal with the cold. Oh. Hey, I smell a trip coming on. I hear you loud and clear, bro. Hey, will you find out about animals' clothing? Sure, Zob. But first, we have to get our clothes. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. So, uh... Are you going in the closet thing, guys? Sure, Zob. Yeah, we're going. Yeah, the closet. That's where all our clothes are. We're going to the closet. Well, why don't you want to go to the closet? Well, we do want to go to the closet. Yeah, we love the closet. The closet's great. What's wrong with the closet? No problem with the closet. Oh, we love the closet. Excellent closet. Can't wait to get that closet. Best closet around. Oh, they think all the stuff will fall out on them. Zabu, you in there? You okay, Zab? <laughs> One sweater, two sweaters. I almost couldn't find your sweaters. You guys should really keep your closet much neater. Thanks, Zab. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Bye, brothers. See you, Zab. Let's go. Geese overhead. Geese have lots of waterproof feathers to keep them warm. And they have an extra warm layer of down underneath their feathers, too. Kind of like my fleece. And that layer of down keeps them nice and toasty. Check out their feet. They're webbed and they're naked. Not a feather, no fur, no fat, just plain old skin and tendons. And geese don't have much feeling in their feet either. What's wrong? Colt, Colt. Oh. Bet that feels frosty. I wish I had feet like a goose, then I wouldn't feel the cold. Or if I had feet like a lynx, I could walk around in the snow all day because lynx feet are covered with thick, warm fur. Wouldn't it be great to have fur on your feet? Or feathers, like a snowy owl who lives in the Arctic where it's really freezing. And to stay warm, a snowy owl has feathers that cover her feet. Look at those feathers. But some creatures don't just have fur or feathers to help them stay warm, they have fat. Look at those polar bears jiggle. The fat is right under their fur, so they have double protection from the cold. And that keeps them nice and toasty in the coldest places. We've got the three Fs. Fur, feathers, and fat. These animals are really built for staying warm in the winter. Yeah, but I'm freezing. Hey, hear that? Yeah, but where's it coming from? Do you know who makes that sound? Yeah, otters! Some river otters live in really cold places, so they need special fur to keep them warm. Yeah, river otters have soft under fur, which keeps them warm, which is covered by long, hard, oily outer fur, which keeps them dry. That lets them swim in freezing cold water. Otters never let the cold get them down. And you know what else is great about their fur? An otter's sleek fur makes them really great at tobogganing. And this toboggan makes us really good at tobogganing. Otters have discovered the fourth F! Fun! <laughs> What? Huh? Ah! <laughs> I think 
think an otter could have handled that turn. Yeah, otters are creatures who really know how to slide. I think it's time to head back to Animal Junction. Downhill? Downhill. Otter style! Really big creature, just like Shigel. So what do you want to do now? Where's Saab? I'm where the fur is. Whoa. Wow. Saab, we made a new animal friend. My new friend is so furry, he's warm to sit on. <laughs> Your new friend is a yak, Sabu. Yak. Yak. Yak, 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 yak. Yaks are amazing creatures. They live way high up in the mountains where no other mammals live. It's all this thick fur that lets the yak be comfortable in the nastiest, coldest weather. And other animals live in lots of snow too, like Japanese macaques. Not only do these monkeys have thick fur to keep warm, they also love hanging out together in natural hot springs. Does the yak remind you of any farm animal you know? Yeah, a cow. A yak is a wild relative of a cow. The horns? the hooves, the basic head shape, all very cow-like. In fact, cows came from wild ancestors that looked a lot like a yak. Check out those horns. Horn. Horn. If you ever mess with a yak, you have to deal with these horns. Wait a second. There are horns like this. Oh. And there are horns like these. Let me try. <laughs> huh. This horn doesn't make any noise. Huh. Try it again. Okay. <laughs> this horn makes a funny noise. Blow your horn. <laughs> Yaks have lots of fat and fur to keep them warm in the cold weather. Fat, fur, and feathers. Three of the Fs. <laughs> not feathers, Zob. Just two Fs. Fat and fur. Well, not like my friend Wiggy in Zabu Land. Wiggy? Yeah, I'll tell you. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap. 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 And then I stopped because I wanted to go up Mount Zabumufu. Ah, Zabu! And then Wiggy flew by. <laughs> I want to go too! <laughs> but Wiggy... It's very cold on top of Mount Zabumufu. I have fur to keep me warm, but it's too cold up there for you. <laughs> Don't worry, my feathers will keep me warm. Oh yeah? <laughs> well then, let's go. Oh, wait for me. Oh, I want to go up too. But Google, it's very cold on Mount Zabumufu. <laughs> Wiggy has feathers to keep her warm, and I have fur to keep me warm, but it's too cold up there for you. Oh, there's no problem, Zabu. I've been eating goobleberries all day, so my fat will keep me warm. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, then, let's go. Oh, but I might need some help. I'll help. I'll help. So we climbed and climbed and climbed. As we climbed, it got colder. I mean, with a fat belly, it's fun. And, and colder fun. and colder. But our fur, feathers, and fat kept us warm. And then we heard a friendly voice. Uh, I, uh... Hello. It was Snow Lemur, and we all jumped around on the top of Mount Sabumufu and had a lot of fun. Three Fs. The end. I had four Fs today. You had four Fs? Yeah, fun, 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 when I was feeling camelish. <laughs> yeah, and I had four Fs when we were hanging out with the Shaggy Yak. And I had four Fs when we played with the otters. This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his funny behind All the friends we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today! See you, Zabu! Keep on leaping! Chris, what do you say we go cool off with other creatures who have another F? Fins! Great idea. <laughs> See you later. Hi, my name is Ryan. I would like you to meet my lop-eared rabbit, Dumper. Sticky.
That octopus we saw in the second dive was incredible. Yeah! But take a whiff. Ooh, what's that smell? Hey, you! That is stinky. Where, where are they? Where's what, Chris? Your sneakers. They're stinkier than ever. This smell's not coming from my sneakers. Besides, they smell just fine. But that smell. We know what the smell is, but let's see if Zabu knows what creature made that stink. Zabu! Hey, Zabu! Zabu, Zabu The lever has landed. Hey, Zabu, come on. There's some leaves over here you won't want to miss. Hey! But you would have found these leaves anyway, because lemurs have a great sense of smell. All right. What snack smells really good? I know. Yeah. I have a sweet smelling snack for you, buddy. Zabu, how about some kiwi fruit? Zabu loves kiwi. There you go. Hey, kiwi, that's a good fruit. Kiwi. <laughs> I'm Fuki. I eat kiwi. Smells great. <laughs> Chris, Martin, why are your hands attached to your noses? Are you picking them? <laughs> no, we're not picking them. We're holding our noses. That stinks, Zob. Can you smell it? Oh, yeah. Big smell. On my way here, I saw an animal in the forest. There was the same smell then. The same smell. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He had a furry body and a sniffy nose. And everybody was sniffing him because this creature was stinky. Pee you. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. His tail was black and white, and his legs were stubby. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A black and white furry stinker. Do you know who he is? All right, we have this one figured out. A black furry body. Big white stripe. Walks like this. Woo-wee! That's a skunk, all right. A skunk. Hey, come on down and have a close look at this amazing creature. <laughs> Yo, Manga Stinka, Mystery Animal's here. Oh, a skunk. I can't believe my mind. That's who made the smell, a skunk. Wow, what a big smell from a little creature. Are you sure skunk made such a big stink? You better believe it, Sob. <laughs> Once you've smelled that smell, you'll never forget that a skunk made. Yeah, and a skunk always smells like this. And she smells even stronger when she's scared. That's why you have to be extra careful around skunks. Number one rule, never scare a skunk. Yeah, because a skunk has a built-in defense system that'll blow your nose off. Well, who would scare such a mangatsika little animal? Well, Zob, the only creature who would scare a skunk is a creature who hasn't learned about stinky skunk spray or is too hungry to care. That's right. One time we saw a cougar heading towards a skunk. The skunk was a little nervous about it, but the cougar didn't get too close. He had a full belly, and he knew rule number one, never scare a skunk. So he left the skunk alone? Yup. He turned around and went away. And the skunk went on his way, too. What if they don't know that big rule, huh? Well, the last thing a skunk wants to do is spray, so she'll give a lot of warnings before she actually does it. If a skunk is thinking about spraying, she gives warning number one, foot stomping. If that doesn't work, she moves over to warning sign number two, the handstand. A handstand? Really? Yeah. Wow! Oof. If that doesn't work, she sprays. <laughs> That usually works. <gasps> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> oh, don't scare the skunk, whatever you do. She smells bad enough now, even without spraying. Oh. 
When a skunk sprays, she can spray her skunk stink 16 feet. That's this far. Whoa, that's far. Hmm, you're a far sprayer, skunk. Oh, P.O. Oh, yeah, yeah, P.O. She's a stinky one. Oh. I'm gonna call her Stinker. Yeah, Stinker the Skunk. I like that name. Stinker, 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 Stinker. Guys, how come the smell was here before the skunk arrived? Good question, Zob. And the smell is so strong for one skunk. Something's going on here. Yeah, how did the smell get here before the skunk? Maybe there's other stinkers here, like a dwarf lemur. Dwarf lemurs don't smell like skunk smell, but they're the stinkiest lemurs in Madagascar. But I don't see any dwarf lemurs or any other stinky creatures here, so what could it be? The only stinky creature I can see is Stinker, and I can't believe my mind how stinky she is. Well, a skunk is one of the smelliest creatures in the world, and fortunately, she's not scared, for now anyway. Well, I'm not gonna scare the skunk, no way. I know the number one rule. Never scare a skunk. Let's give our skunky friend a snack. Wow! Maybe that'll help us figure out what the other stink is. Let's see. Mongoose, horse, oh, skunk. Hey! Chris! <laughs> hey, Chris, leave some for a skunk. <laughs> or if they're Google bears, count me in. Oh, yeah. oh. oh boy, we're skunking these blueberries down. <laughs> So's the skunk. That skunk has big claws for such a little animal. I know, a skunk needs big claws for digging and burrowing. And for catching food, like insects, crayfish, and frogs. Well, he sure loves those blueberries. Who doesn't? Look, a fox. Does fox know the number one rule? Well, it usually takes an animal only one skunk spray to learn not to mess with the skunk. Oh, let me go see. <laughs> Oh, Fox better watch it or he'll get sprayed. Oh, he's just here for a drink of water. Everything's okay, Stinker. I guess Fox knows the number one rule. He's not gonna scare our skunk friend. Bye, Fox. Now Stinker doesn't have to send Fox away with her smell. You got it, Zob. Animal smells are like a language. Different kind of smells mean different things. Watch this. This is a come and get it kind of smell. Woo! <laughs> that's a go away kind of smell. Oh boy, that's bad. Go away and come and get it smells. This reminds me of one time in Zabuland. I was leap leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I bumped into no, Sense It. No, no. Oof. Oh, 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 hi, Sense It. Hi, Zabu. I'm following a smell. What kind of a smell? Oh, I come and get it kind of smell. You know, a good smell. <laughs> well, Sense It, you do have the best sniffing nose in Zabu land. I do, I do. Well, maybe Snow Lemur knows about the smell, too. Oh, hello there. No! Oh, don't sneak up on a guy like that. Oh, uh, sorry, Sensei. Uh, I, I lost my ice fruit cake, and uh, it has a come and get it kind of smell, but uh, my nose is uh, stuffed up, so I, I can't smell it, and that's why I can't find it. Yeah, yeah I can't find it. Hey, huh? hey, I think I smell it now. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh Zabu yeah. smells it too. Yeah, I'll follow my nose and get the ice fruit cake. Oh, I... So that's oh, what I did. Cake. We were all so happy that the ice fruit cake, with the come and get it smell, was found. We danced on it before we ate it. The end. <laughs> skunks make a go away smell, not a come and get it smell. You got it, Zob. And skunks aren't the only animals to use smell to send a message. A leopard will scent mark, which means spraying a smell, to tell other creatures, hey, back off, this is my place. It's kind of like writing your name on something, but with smells instead of letters. Hey, you know what? I scent mark, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> smells good, Zob. Oh, thanks. You know what? I'm going to make my own crisp smell so I can scent mark things, too. Huh? <laughs>
Oh no, another Chris invention. Oh, be you. That's worse than a skunk. <coughs> oh, I'll be you. What do you think, Zob? Oh yeah, that's a big Chris smell, all right. Zob, you okay? Oh yeah, I just just need some air. Error. Time to scent mark my things. Okay, let's see a few drops on the kayak. Come on, good seeker. Up, oh, back, I can't forget that. Everything's gonna be really stinky. Yeah. Basketball. Oh, great. Dab up here on the raft. Woohoo! Yeah, and my shoes. Now you'll know which things are mine just by smelling. Oh. <laughs> doesn't scare the skunk. Don't get scared, Stinker. Oh. Mm, at least Stinker didn't get scared, but I knew I should have put my bowl of spaghetti back in the fridge. <laughs> 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 Smells like a come here smell to me. Yep, we were right. Well, that's one of the great things about Animal Junction. There's always a creature cleaner upper around. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Come here, I need a lot of help cleaning up. <laughs> <laughs> he likes spaghetti. Good job, Watson. Hey, Watson's on to another smell. Oh, let me see, let me see. <laughs> what smell do you smell, Watson? Hey, do you smell something too, Stinker? What is it? Well, let me see, let me see. Hey, Chris, Martin, there's something else here. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, ah! how come she sprayed us? <laughs> Sorry, Zob, we forgot to tell you about rule number two. Don't get too close to a skunk's babies. She'll want to protect them. Skunk babies? Well, that's why the smell was in Animal Junction before Stinker. Her babies were here the whole time. Wow, skunk babies. Oh, well, too close. These skunk babies look like they're about two weeks old. Their eyes are still closed, and skunks are even born stinky. Hey, they're starting to get on their feet. Look at them go. Pretty soon, they'll be following their mom in a nice little line. Well, this is better, huh? <laughs> For you, maybe. <laughs> what? Sabu, all I can smell is skunk. Yeah, <laughs> and I smell just like them now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stinky. I'm skunky. I'm even black and white. I'm feeling skunkish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel skunkish. How about you? Skunkish. Feeling skunkish. Skunkish. I'm a cool little stinker and my stink smells good. Skunkish. <laughs> Zabu, this time you really are skunkish. Oh, he stinks. Yeah, and we have to do something about this stinky situation. We must find an antidote. Okay, Stinker, get ready for a Crack Brother invention. Ah, one beaker extract of sweetness. <laughs> Guess it's good to guess, ah, uh, flowers. <sighs> ah, smell them, yes. <laughs> Special crack powder. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, are, are, are you sure that's gonna get rid of my stink? You know, Stinker, sometimes these crack brothers are really silly. Oh, it's much closer now. <laughs> Copper electro induced honeydew. Don't put too much. Careful. Oh, now, now, for smoothing, we have the milk. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's ready. <laughs> well, it looks um, awfully, uh, uh, awfully, uh, awful. <gasps> yes! We did it! The skunk stink antidote! <laughs> right, let's get Sabu.
Come on, Zob, you ready? Um, are you sure it's gonna get rid of my uh, stink? I mean, oh, Zob, it looks... this is gonna make you smell so good like you've never smelled before. Well, it looks You're awfully, gonna... awfully, um, awful. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, ready? ready one, Zob? one, two, In three. you go! <gasps> How is it, Zob? Hey, it's okay. <gasps> Zabu? Zabu! <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> you smell great. <laughs> I don't stink like a skunk anymore. <laughs> I stink like a lemur. <laughs> but I kind of like the skunk smell. Yeah, a skunk stink is a good stink. <laughs> I'm kind of getting used to it too. It's a good thing, because those skunks will be here for another five weeks. Yeah, and then they'll leave the nest, follow their mom, and wander off behind her. Hey, somebody's dive bombing in. Duck! Welcome back. <laughs> it's Stinky Feet. Get it? Stinky Feet. <laughs> <laughs> Not Stinky Feet, Stinky Feet, the Peregrine Falcon. Hey, the Sticky Feet scent mark? Well, he doesn't scent mark, Zob. Birds mainly use sounds to talk to each other. Hey, and let's see what Jackie's talking about. Oh, yeah. Just five minutes ago, we were playing ball when Watson ran up to us. Boy, did he stink. Hey, you, does that duck stink? I could tell Watson had been sprayed by a skunk. We had to do something. Come on. We had to give Watson a bath, and fast. So we got lots of tomato juice to give him a bath. But Watson had other ideas. <laughs> Watson? <laughs> Watson, come back! Good boy. The tomato just took most of the skunk smell out of Watson's fur. You smell much better now, Watson. I bet you he never goes near a skunk again. No, I bet you won't. Way to go, Jackie. Tomato juice is a great way to get rid of skunk smell. And now Watson understands all about the skunk's smelly language. And so do I. <laughs> hey, speaking of smelly languages, let's go find some real stinkers. To the closet. I think they're going on a trip now. They're going on a trip. Mm -hmm, they are. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. To the they're closet! Going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> oh. Great! The stinkometer. It can help us find any animal by his or her smell. Let's go find the stinkiest animals we can find. Are you coming? All right. They're going on a cool adventure <laughs> and they don't, don't know, know what's, what's in store. store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Okay. The stinkometer is gonna help us find some stinky creatures. Does it smell anything yet? I don't think so. Whoa, hold on! It senses something from behind those rooms. Let's check it out. A vinegaroon. A vinegaroon looks a lot like a scorpion, but they don't sting. See that long tail? That tail is used to spread. <laughs> now that's stinky. That's because we just got sprayed by a vinegaroon. When a vinegaroon's surprised, he sprays, kind of like a skunk, and his spray smells like vinegar. That's how he got his name, Vinegaroon. And now we smell like vinegaroons, too. Let's go find some more stinky creatures. Come on. The stinkometer's going berserk. There must be another stinky creature around. Watson, three o'clock. Watsons are super stinkers. They're even called stink birds. That's because her nest and body smell like cow poop. She eats so many leaves that sit in her belly for so long that she starts to stink. What a cool bird. And you know, after hanging out with the Watsons, I think we're starting to smell a little Watson-ish. Yeah, now we smell like vinegaroons and Watsons. Howler monkeys overhead! <laughs> Howler monkeys are big, and they've got big voices, too. These guys are loud. No kidding. They don't call them howler monkeys for nothing. Every morning, they all howl to let each other know where they are. But most of the time, howler monkeys are pretty quiet, just eating and sleeping. What's going on? Howler monkeys don't stink. Whoa, but they're poop dogs, poop bombs. Look out. Look out, Martin, he's taking aim. Whoa. 
You know, the funny thing about monkeys is, is that some monkeys actually like pooping on people who walk underneath them. <laughs> that was close. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that were soaked. Well, at least we don't smell like a vinegarude, a Watson, and a howler monkey anymore. <laughs> yeah, that crap bowl really cleaned us off. <laughs> the stinker meter. You know where it's pointing? Yeah, straight to Animal Junction. Come on! I What's really it picking up? Right? I don't uh, get it. I like it. I like it's it. going berserk. The stinkle beater's overheating. There must be something really stinky going on in there. Do you want to find out what? All right, let's go. <laughs> stinky! If you're a stinky creature, come on in! A fisher. Fisher? Ferrets. Ferrets. Mink. Mink. And Stinker the Skunk. All members of the Mustelid family. Mustelids? Mustelids, I love Mustelids. <laughs> Mustelids are my favorite animal. <laughs> What's a Mustelid? Mustelids are carnivorous weasel-like creatures, and they're all stinkers. A fisher is one of the larger Mustelids, a good climber and a good swimmer. Let's meet the others. Come on. <laughs> Meeting Mustelids. <laughs> hey guys, come here, look. Ah, the ferrets. Ferrets are long, thin, slinky little weasels. And a ferret's body is designed for going through holes and getting into tight places. Whoa. In some ways, ferrets remind me of a furry little snake. Hey, he's sniffing me. Hey. You gonna climb on? That slinky one likes the snack machine, like me. <laughs> they're not only slinky, they're stinky. Hey, another mustelid. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Don't go to sleep. I'm not your mom. Hey, Chris, Martin, look at these Mungatsika creatures. Oh, yeah. Baby mink. Oh, wow. Mink are an all-around mustelid. They're great on the land and in the water. These mink are only about seven weeks old, so they don't know how to swim yet. They may be too young to swim, but they're old enough to stink. <laughs> pee you! Uh, all of these stinky mustelids remind me of someone in Zabu land. <sighs> I was sleep sleeping along. Sleep, 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 <laughs> sleep, sleep, <laughs> sleep. <laughs> When baby Zabumafuasaurus came up to me. Hey, Zabu! How are you doing? Well, I'm fine, baby, but um. What? 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 What's the matter? Well, it's your breath. It huh? smells kind of stinky. Oh. Oh. Have you been eating Zika stink cheese? I have, Zabu. I guess that's why my breath is stinky. Hey, Zabu, what are you? Hi, Bugly. I can't dig this stinky smell. Let's get out of here. Good Whoa. idea. Whoa. <laughs> I better do something about my breath. Well, I can still smell that stink. Let's go Whoa. high in the sky where it smells nice. So we flew high in the fresh air around Mama Zabumafuasaurus. <laughs> Oh, good oh, yeah. boy. And it was true. Oh, yeah. Baby's stinky oh, yeah. breath was gone. In fact, his breath smelled really good. Oh, yeah. The end. <laughs> Baby's breath stunk sweet. Definitely an I like you smell. <laughs> I had such a stinky time today. It was great. And I loved it when you guys de-stinked me. <laughs> I liked when we found all those stinkers with the stinkometer. And those little baby skunks. What incredible creatures. This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his funny behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today! You stinky mustelids. Bye, stinker and little stinkers. Bye, brothers. Bye, Zob. Well, we smelled a lot of smells and met a lot of stinkers today. What do you say we get some fresh air? Windsurfing? Windsurfing! Wind 
See you later. My name is Nigel and my rat's name is AJ. Going down. Just like a couple of spiders. Woo! What incredible superstar spiders are. Yeah, they even make their own thread. <laughs> it's great to be like a spider. That's because spiders are superstars. <laughs> exactly. All you have to do is take one good look to know spiders are little superstars. And now let's call another little superstar buddy of ours. Zabu! Zabumafo! The lemur has landed. Zabu's here. Whoa! Wait up! Zabu? What? Did you know a superstar lemur jumper can jump 30 feet from tree to tree? I have a feeling today is going to be pretty crazy. So let's give Zabu garbanzo beans! Hey, Zabu. Garbanzo beans. Yeah, here you go. Okay, you want, you can't have them all. Here, wait, just take one, just take one. There you go. <laughs> one garbanzo bean's a mouthful for a lemur. Excuse <laughs> me. Sip of a Hey, brothers, look. I can't believe my mind. Another one. Oh, hi there. They're everywhere, everywhere. Zabumafu, they're everywhere. Who's Zabu? Little animals, and they're all different, and they're crawling all over. Who could it be? Who could it be? What? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? One was a furry crawler, but then there was another. One with a hard shell and big googly eyes. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. They were popping up everywhere. All sorts of little superstar creatures. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Little superstar creatures. Do you know who they are? And one went this way, and that way, and this way, and that way, and this way, and that way, and this way. Uh, oh, hey, one's going this way, not that way. Oh. So they scattered in all different directions, right? That makes me think that Zabu must be talking about bugs. Manga Chica, mystery animals here. Bugs always scatter. So if you want to find bugs, you have to scatter. Oh. Let's go. All right, now where could they be hiding? Over here! See this stick here? Well, fooled you, because it's not a stick. Bug me. She's an insect called a walking stick. And because she looks like a stick, she can really hide. A scorpion! Watch out for this guy, because he has claws that can really pinch and a tail that stings. Bug me! And scorpions like to hide out in dark, cozy places. You never know where you're going to find bugs. Bug me! Wow! How do you put your best foot forward if you're a millipede? A millipede can have over 400 legs, and when she walks, it's like a wave of legs. <laughs> Bug me! One of my favorites, a praying mantis. Look how she cleans her arm with those finger-like mouth parts. Bug me, I love bugs. <laughs> hey, who's this guy? That's a caterpillar, and they come in all different colors, shapes, and sizes. Look at her. Well, I'll call you Lollipop Head. <laughs> he has green fur just like Green Puppy. I'll call you Little Green Puppy. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoops. Careful. Oh, and look at him. <laughs> You're Waggletail. They're all so different, and I love them all. <laughs> so, who else is here? <gasps> who are they? They're dung beetles, Zabu. Dung beetles are always rolling poop balls around. That's because poop is their food and they lay eggs in it. Bugs are everywhere, everywhere. Chris, watch out. Good eye, Zob. 
you have to keep a sharp lookout when you're looking for bugs. A Congo chafer beetle. Bugs don't like to be stepped on. And I don't like stepping on bugs. And bugs are everywhere. Yeah, there's another Congo chafamungo. Yeah, what do you call him again? He's a Congo chafer beetle. But you know what's up? What? There are so many kinds of beetles in the world, like this pleasing fungus beetle. Oh wow, she looks like Congo, but not. Hey, and check out the ironclad. He's a- Don't tell me, a beetle, right? You got it, Zob. Well, there's another beetle. Yeah, a South African weevil beetle. And another one. A saddleback desert dart. And another one. A South African breath beetle. I can't believe my mind. He changed his mind. He's going back the other way. Oh, bug me, this is too fast. Who bug is who bug? Which bug are you bug? Oh. But you know one thing all beetles have in common? They like noses? <laughs> yeah, but check it out. All beetles have a hard shell to protect their soft insides. <laughs> What kind of beetle is that? Oh, it's a Martin beetle. <laughs> ah, the amazing thing about beetles and a lot of other bugs is that even with all this armor, they can fly. And this is how beetles do it. When a beetle wants to fly, she moves her hard wing cases out of the way. Her wings pop out and she buzzes away. Did you know that ladybugs are beetles too? Oh, well, let's see how she flies. Yep, she's a beetle. Let's see how Martin flies. <laughs> needs more beetle practice. Uh-oh. Martin, watch out for that amount of dirt behind you! Oh, brother. What about these superstars in the pile of dirt? Are they beetles too? No, they're termites. Termites don't have hard shells like beetles to protect their soft bodies. So they build really hard mounds to live in. That's how they protect themselves. No doubt about it. Insects are little superstars. And they have to be, because a lot of creatures are out to get them. Like a capuchin monkey, who's great at finding where the bugs are hiding. He eats them? Who else eats bugs? Well, there's a lizard called a thorny devil who loves to chow down on ants. One, two, he loves to eat bugs. Yeah, so does a sun spider. Whew. With so many creatures out to get you, sometimes even a hard shell isn't enough to protect a bug. Bug me! Another beetle! Silver, shiny, hard shell? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a beetle, Zob. That's a harmonica. Harmonica? What does it do? Blow on it, and you'll find out. Hmm. It doesn't do anything, Martin. I know. That means you have to take a big breath, huh? put your lips on it, and blow. Hmm. Okay. <gasps> Harmonica! I like that noise. Color, but I don't eat bugs. She's a Florida lover grasshopper. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> a grasshopper's legs are always in position for a great big hop, ready to take off at a moment's notice. Like me. Yeah. Bug me, bug me. She can just jump away, jump away, jump away. <laughs> But sometimes, even being a great jumper can't save a bug. If you're not paying attention, a creature like a slender lores can sneak up from behind and catch you. It's a tough world for bugs. That's why grasshoppers are such quick jumpers, because so many creatures are out to jump on them. Now let's find some more bugs. Hmm, I have a feeling there's a bug around here someplace. Bug me, did you see that? Hey, Martin, 
That's an incredible insect. Where? Right there on your... Whoa! Where in the world did this come from? Well, you know what you have to do when you're checking out bugs. Look closer. It's the termites. What superstar builders? These little termites built this huge mound. Remember when I first tripped over that little hill? Ah! <laughs> that was only the beginning. Right, Martin, because millions of termites grab mouthfuls of dirt, wet it with their spit. Their spit? Spit! And their spit glues the dirt together to make the mound. This is a huge termite mound, and it's as hard as a rock. Right, Sal? I like it up here. I can see everywhere. A lot of animals like termites and termite mounds because so many creatures depend on these little creatures for survival. Termites are one of the most important insects in the world. Tons of creatures eat them. Like an armadillo. He sniffs around for termites and ants all day. How about an aardvark who always enjoys a tasty meal of termites? And don't forget about a nuthatch. He's nuts for bugs. Whoa. <laughs> All these bugs remind me of one time in, uh, oh yeah, in Sabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I heard someone say, zippity doo ha do Zabu. It sounded like my friend Bugly, but I couldn't see him anywhere. So I called out, hey, Bugly, where are you? Uh, right here. <laughs> oh, hi, Bugly. <laughs> Well, then I heard a loud noise in the ground shook. Zabumafuasaurus was coming. So I jumped into the tree to get out of the way. But Bugly stayed on the ground, and Zabumafuasaurus didn't see him. Help, help me! Help oh, stop, me! Stop, I said. Zabumafuasaurus, look down at your foot. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Bugly. I didn't see you there. Well, that's all right. Thanks for saving me, Zabu. Hey, you want to buzz around with me? I'll take you for a ride. Well, Bugly, I'm too big to ride on you. Besides, bugs like you have it tough enough already. But don't forget, Zob, I'm a superstar. Well, I can understand that. Bug me, I shouted. Let's go. Just hang on tight and buzz. So I did. Buzz. <laughs> so we went buzzing around Zabumafuasaurus and had fun. The end. <laughs> Great story, Zabu. But you know, there's one more thing I gotta know. Who is the bug on Martin's back? I have no idea. Do you? Bug me, let me see. She's gone. There was a bug on my back? Uh -huh. One of the amazing things about bugs is they're really good at staying hidden and out of the way. And bugs have to stay hidden because there are a lot of other creatures looking for them. And you know what other creatures like to do with bugs. Eat them. But I just want to look at the bug that was on Martin's back. <laughs> so do I. Uh -huh. I didn't even know there was a bug on my back. Well, let's get looking. And we'll need your help. You ready to help? Great. Tell us if you see her. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't see anything here. Whoops, not here. Quick, over here! So is this who was on my back? Yeah, yeah, bug me. <laughs> Great job, you found her. Bug me! <laughs> what do you mean, bug me? I mean, bug me. Tell me who this great bug is. This is a Malaysian wood nymph, one of the largest bugs in the world. A wood nymph. She looks like a leaf that's alive. Exactly, Zob. That's the way she stays hidden from all those creatures who are trying to eat her by acting like a leaf. And if that doesn't work, these sharp, pointy spines all over her body would make any creature think twice about eating her. Whoa, bug me. Spines for protection. Well, get this, Zob. Some caterpillars have spikes with poisonous tips to protect them but others aren't that lucky. That's right. Remember when we saw that woolly bear caterpillar? We thought he was climbing in a bush, but when we looked closer, we saw two insects attached to him. Why? Well, we took a closer look and saw that the insects were sucking the caterpillar's insides out. Believe me, it's a tough world for bugs. Bug me! Hey, Martin, Chris, I'm feeling buggish. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel buggish. How about you? Buggish. I feel buggish. Buggish. I'm a busting little insect flying all around. I feel buggish. How about you? Buggish.
buggish. Sabu, you are really bugging out. All right, but I wonder, what does it feel like to be a bug? Ooh. Hold that thought, Chris. Duck! It's not a duck, it's a... Wait a minute. <laughs> it is a duck. Ooh. Wow. Do they eat bugs? Nope, just water plants. I wonder what Jackie's up to. I love ants, but yesterday I saw a bunch of kids stomping on an anthill. I ran over to them. Hold it! Come here and look. I told them how great ants were. They are incredibly strong for one thing. If I was as strong as an ant, I think I could lift a car. I showed them the little hole where ants go in. But underground, it's like a huge neighborhood. Ants make lots of tunnels and rooms to live in. Ants are so great. Hi, little guy. It's a good thing Jackie's out there to give ants a break. Yeah, we need bugs. Bugs are good. <laughs> you got it, Zob. If bugs disappeared, so many other creatures would disappear too. So not only are bugs incredible because they're incredible, but also because the entire planet depends on them. <laughs> the whole planet depends on buggy superstars. I like it. <laughs> That's why we always say, be, be nice, nice to bugs. Hey, our antennae feel trip vibrations. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> Come on, we'll show you what we mean. Let's go out into the creature world and see how important bugs are. And we'll see it like bugs see it. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. We'll see you later. Bug me. Look at this spider web. It's amazing how spiders can make webs. I wonder what it'd be like to sit in a spider web all day. Let's, Let's get, get bug size. This is incredible. It's like being stuck on giant monkey bars. Yeah, everything looks so huge. Especially that spider. Wow. Hey, and look at that butterfly. She's the size of an airplane. And how about that mosquito caught in the spider's web? I think that mosquito is the spider's dinner. Move over, little Chris. I don't want to end up like that. Forget about the spider, Martin. Somebody else is looking at us, and he looks hungry for bugs. A sparrow, you're right, he's eyeing us. Maybe we'd better get out of here before that bird makes us his dinner. Let's get big size! It was great being a spider until that bird came along. Yeah. But there wouldn't be many birds if there weren't any bugs, because a lot of birds eat bugs. Chris, look out! Leaf cutter ants. What amazing insects. These little bugs are superstar workers. They carry leaves back to their homes so they can make food. Whoa. Let's, Let's get, get bug size. Boy, these ants sure look busy. Yeah! Hey, I've got an idea. Let's help these ants collect some leaves. Great idea. Leaf cutter ants cut out sections of leaves and then carry them down trees on their backs. An ant can carry ten times his own weight. It's great being an ant. Sure is. Hey, and look, we're almost at the ant hill. Hey, the end of the line. We made it. Yeah. Here you go, guys. Who's that over there? He has long, sharp claws. A long, pointy nose that keeps sniffing around. And look at that long tongue! Martin, sounds like you just described a tamandua. He eats termites and ants and... <gasps> Uh-oh! Uh you might think we're ants. We better get out of here. It's time to get pizzas! Ants are incredible little superstars. And if there weren't any ants and termites, there wouldn't be any tamanduas. Grasshoppers everywhere! Let's get bug size. Hey, buddy. Grasshoppers are amazing. A grasshopper has six legs. Her hind legs are used for jumping. And boy, can she jump! She can jump 20 times her own body length. That would be like me jumping halfway across a football field. 
Yeah! Plus, she has two antennae that she uses to smell with. And, just like crickets, she rubs her wings and hind legs together to make sounds. She even has claws to help her climb. Yeah, that's the way. Baby, is that Jackie? Jackie! Jackie! I love hiking through the woods. We've seen some amazing creatures. I don't think she sees us. We're so small, remember? She might not see us at all. She's heading right this way. Right for us! What if she doesn't see us? What if she steps on us? No! Grasshoppers. I almost stepped on them. It's a good thing I watch where I'm going, so I never step on these little creatures. Whew. It's a good thing that Jackie looks out for the little creatures. Now we know what it feels like to be a bug. It's a totally different world. And I bet when you're this small, Zabu looks totally different. Let's go. Grasshopper style! Woo! Yeah! We're back! Bug me. I'm big size, and you're bug size. <laughs> hey, guys, hurry up. Gotta see these bugs. Let's get big size! Come on, hurry! <laughs> They're licking me. Yeah, butterfly tongues. There's nothing more amazing than butterflies and their butterfly tongues. That's because their tongues roll right out, kind of like those things you blow at birthday parties. You know, the noisemakers. <laughs> that tickles. They're licking me because they like me. <laughs> yeah, and they're also licking up the salt and minerals off of your skin. Remember in the Amazon when we saw hundreds of butterflies on the mud bank of a river? They were licking up the salt and minerals from the mud. But that's not the only place the butterflies were licking up salt. They were licking the salt off a turtle's eyeballs. They just kept licking her eyeballs and licking her eyeballs and licking her eyeballs. Until the turtle got so tired of being bugged by the butterflies, she jumped in the river to get away. It's okay. You can lick my eyeball. Your tongue tickles. <laughs> Chris, who depends on butterflies? Well, bullfrogs for one. A monarch butterfly can be just sitting on a twig, unaware of the frog below. Then bang, the next minute, she's eaten by the frog. That's why butterflies fly crooked, so they won't always get caught. Bug me. I'm always gonna watch where I leap from now on. I don't wanna bump into any butterflies. I want to tell everybody about Buggy Superstars, too. Hey, just like I told everybody about Bugly in Sabu Land. I was leap, leaping along. Leap, leap, <laughs> leap, 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 leap. Hey there. When I heard a voice, I sat down to see if I would hear it again. Zaboobity dee, Bugby. Who said that? Me, my name's Bugly. Wow, you're super cool. And I'm a superstar. Come on, let's run. Wow! Hop on. Wow! Look how fast Bugly runs. Oh, Bugly, Bugly, he's super fast and uh, he has a super name. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you very much. Hang on, little lemur. <laughs> then everybody started noticing that Bugly was a superstar. Bugly, Bugly's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's cool. I like everything cool. <laughs> I'm bugging oh, no. Bugging, bugging. And then Bugly Woo started flying. Ah, oh, he's a superstar. <laughs> Noggin Drill was right. Bugly was a superstar. And for the rest of the day, everyone in Zabuland celebrated Bugly's superstardom. Thanks a lot. <laughs> the end. Oh, Bugly's one of my best buddies. <laughs> Bug me! is a friend of mine from the tip of his nose to his funny behind all the friends that we've met today are special in their own way we've all got different names but we're really all the same thanks for dropping by we're glad you came these animals are friends of mine they jump and swim crawl fly and climb one more thing we have to say go make an animal friend today I'm bugging out. See ya. We're bugging out too, because even though we met a lot of bugs today, there are millions and millions more. Most of the creatures in the world are bugs. So if we start now and saw a bug a minute, we still wouldn't see them all. Bye. Hi, my name is Melissa. This is Kelly.